What's going on everybody? This is Mehul and welcome to your 19th PHP tutorial in which we'll be looking at include and require functions in PHP. Now these two are very interesting functions in PHP because they would help you to keep your code organized and clean by separating by basically splitting all of your PHP code in different files and not only PHP you could have like any code so with this what we can do is we can include another file inside the main file so this is kind of a server side include server side include so what this means is that just like um, you can say on the client side you can make use of JavaScript to get a file with the help of Ajax in jQuery or in vanilla JS only with include and require you can perform a server side include and you can include the files from the server itself so how this is useful let me tell you so let's say you are creating you are creating a website which is quite big so you would have a lot of files like um, to start with let's say you have header.php which contains um, the header of your file let's say you have a sidebar.php which contains the sidebar of your file of your site then you have content.php and all these files are dynamic then you have footer.php then you have some subscribe.php widgets.php and so on so to create a single page with just like you can say to create your home page you would need all these files to include header sidebar content now it is not feasible to go to every file copy its content and create a new file paste in that go to sidebar copy its content go to index paste it content copy index paste that would take a lot of time moreover let's say if you want to change your logo then it would be a nightmare to go to all the pages and change it so what comes to the rescue is the PHP's include and require functions so these two functions what they would do is they would include a file automatically so let's say I'll just create a function here let's say not a function sorry a file here this is a demo file so let's say I'll just write here echo or yeah okay so let's say I just write here echo div I am in a div and I save it as a file file dot PHP let's say so here you go I have the simple file with file.php and let's say I want to include this file here so what I'll do is I'll write include file.php now when I will run this 19.php page you see the 19 one not the file.php you see I got div I'm in div and poor me I didn't close the div yet okay so well that doesn't even make a difference but anyways so you see here we got the output as I'm in a div on the page 19.php now this is just looks like just lame but this is really useful for example you want to pass some variables as well so let's say this is your custom page and you have a like a title here with um, this is custom title and you want to you have the this one the 19.php is your sites template and you have inside HTML PHP echo title so even though this um, title variable is not defined anywhere on this page but since you are including this file and title is defined in that file therefore it would work here so you can say that variables are automatically copied into the scope whenever you are including a file so you see that the title got changed to this is a custom title so that's how it works now what's with require and what's the difference well if you see then 
include and require has one major difference is that and that is that include would not crash the code if the file is not found by that what I mean is let's say I I want to include a file which does not exist let's say file do dot, file 2 dot PHP and I have some text here echo um, this would run later on so when I'll run this 19.php script you see that I got a warning include file 2.php fail to open stream no such file or directory and another warning fail to open file 2.php and like that but what happens with require when I type require instead of include I'll get a fatal error instead of a warning so and as you can see that this line is not output is not outputted inside in the require one so when I'm using require as an example then the code execution is stopped here so this is stopped 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 here as soon as file or that's a bit wrong stopped here if the file is not found so require stops the execution of your script if the file is not found and include would just give a little warning and would keep the script running on now when is require useful and when is include useful so require is useful most of the times but you could use include as well where let's say you have a website where you're displaying charts of your employees and let's say somehow a file gets missing from the server so you won't like to crash the whole script because of just a single chart missing from the server so for in that case you would like to use uh, include instead of require but let's say you have uh, file require transaction.php which contains all the important variables like the credit card information or the CV number or the verification or pin or whatever and obviously you would like to immediately stop the transaction if this file is somehow damaged or if not found so these are basically the main use of require and include this would help you to keep your code clean and nice because as the code grows you can split the code in different files and then include them include the files at different areas so that's it for this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching